So today we're going to get started on our hands and knees. So go ahead and move any props you have off to the side and come on up to table pose. So bringing your hands underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips or slightly further back. Let's start with some subtler movements and build from there. So with your inhale, go ahead and look forward with your chest, feel the tailbone lift behind you. Then exhale, round your back, tucking the chin and tail under. Then inhale, looking forward. Exhale, rounding the back. And just continue to move between these two postures, starting to warm up the spine a bit. And beginning to link your breath and movement, your action and your intention. Noticing where you feel sensation in your body. Some of that might feel sore or tight. Some of it might feel like relief or openness. There's plenty of room for neutrality as well. Just noticing what it is for you. And then with your next exhale, go ahead and sink back into child's pose. And then inhale back up to hands and knees, again, looking forward. Exhale, sinking back into child's pose. Inhale back up to hands and knees. Just a few more times between these two postures, again, linking the breath and movement. Good. Let's add downward facing dog now. Inhale up to hands and knees. Please curl the toes under, lift the hips into the air. And then inhale, gently float back down onto hands and knees. Release the feet, exhale, child's pose. The inhale back up to hands and knees. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, float back down onto hands and knees, gently looking forward. Exhale, child's pose. Just a couple more times through this flow, warming up the body this morning. You can take your time getting there, but the next time that you land in downward facing dog, go ahead and stay. And then down dog will walk the dog out a bit, pressing a heel to the floor as you bend your opposite knee. All the while reach the hip bones toward the ceiling behind you, thinking about flattening out your back. And as you're doing that again, exploring the body. Where do you feel sensation? What does that sensation feel like? Breathing into whatever that experience is. Aware of the inhale, aware of the exhale. Uh, all right, bring the legs in the stillness. Inhale, float forward into plank pose, straight line push up position. Exhale, pull back into downward facing dog. Inhale, flowing forward to the spine again, plank pose. Exhale, pulling back. Just starting to feel that core warm up a bit more. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. A couple more times. Good, inhale, come forward into plank pose. Bend your elbows and towards your waist. Plank yourself all the way to the floor right now. Hands underneath the shoulders, grounding your pelvis. Good, doing a little bit of work for the back body. Now with your next inhale, roll the shoulders down back. Lift the heart, lift the head, cobra pose, elbow stay bent. Exhale, release down. Again, inhale, cobra, heart and head lift. Exhale, release. Again, cobra lift in. Allow the exhale to bring you down. Bring it a few more. Cobra. And down. Inhale. And exhale, coming down. Stay for a breath or two. 
I'm gonna go ahead and curl the toes under and push up to hands and knees and back into downward facing dog. Stay for a breath or two. Good. And then inhale, float down onto hands and knees. Bend your elbows and towards your waist. Bring your chest back down to the floor. Release the hips back. We're going to do just a little bit more work here on our abdomens. Grounding the pelvis again. We're going to use locust pose this time. So when you're ready, go ahead and lift the head, chest, and your legs, getting light on the hands. Exhale, floating down. Inhale, float up. Locust pose. Head, chest, and legs lift. Exhale down a few more times. Inhale down. Inhale. Exhale. One more time for now. Inhale. And exhale, floating down. Again, curl the toes under, pushing up and back into downward facing dog. Good, so in down dog, go ahead and lift your right leg high into the air behind you. With your exhale, swing or carry, step the right foot between your hands. Now help it forward if you need to. Back knee to the floor and release the foot. With your inhale, sweep the arms forward, up and back, coming into the crescent lunge. And then exhale, bring your hands down and carefully step back to downward facing dog. Good, lifting the left leg into the air and inhale. Exhale, swinger, carry, step the foot forward and help it through. Back knee to the ground, inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, bring the hands down, stepping back, downward facing dog. We're just gonna keep going, right leg lifts and step it through. Back knee down, come on up. Exhale, hands down, stepping back. Left leg lifts and steps, knee down, crescent lunge, lifting the arms up, inhale, exhale, stepping down, right leg lifts, and step, and up, and down, and stepping back, left leg lifts, and step it through, help it forward, Knee down and up and stepping back. We're going to do two more times on each side. Right leg lifts. Exhale, step it through, please. Knee down. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg lifts. Exhale, step forward or the left foot forward. <laughs> Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale down. Okay, one more time on each side, then we'll do something else. Right leg lifts. Step it through. Knee down, coming up. Exhale, stepping back. Right left leg lifts. And step it forward. Knee down, crescent lunge. Good, this time as you bring the hands down, you're gonna curl the back toes under and step the right foot forward, coming into the standing forward fold. Good, now let the knees be just slightly bent here. Release the head, shoulders, arms, and neck. Breathe. Good. All right. When you're ready, please press your palms to your shin. Straighten the arms. Bring the chest parallel to the floor, looking down. Inhale. And then exhale, fall back down. Good. Let's do that again. Palms to shins halfway up. And exhale, fall. Again, halfway up. And down. Two more times. I'm feeling five today. <laughs> Inhale, halfway up. And down. One more time for now. Halfway up. 
palms to shins, chest parallels to the floor. And exhale, folding down. With your next inhale, please sweep your arms out to the sides of the strong back. Lift yourself all the way up to standing, reaching overhead. Then release the arms on down. Feel sensation for a moment. Where do you feel sensation? What does that feel like? Good, and then we're gonna move into arm swings. And so for this one, it's a three-part inhale through your nose and one powerful exhale out of your mouth. Okay, and it's a real pullback of the belly on that one. So for this exercise, um, so that's the breath, the movement goes like this. You're gonna have your feet stacking about hip width apart. It'll be inhale, arms up, inhale, arms back, inhale, arms up, and then with your exhale, you're gonna bend your knees, drop your body down, stick your arms behind you, to inhale, come up for the next round. So it looks like this. Inhale, 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 exhale. Inhale, 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 exhale. And we're gonna go for about two minutes. So find a pace that works for you, slowing it down when you need to, okay? So feet stacking underneath the hips, find your breath. Where of the inhale, aware of the exhale. And then we're going to go ahead and get started again, inhaling through the nose, exhaling out of the mouth when you're ready. Inhale up, inhale back, inhale up, exhale, drop. Inhale, 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 exhale. Swing it out. Feeling the full rotation of the shoulder joints up, back, up, and back. And again, it's a powerful exhale through the mouth. You want to feel the navel pull in and up, clearing the respiratory system, clearing out the lungs, the throat. Swinging it out. Again, finding a pace that works for you. We're about halfway done. for about 30 more seconds. You're almost there. Swing it up. Three. Two, last one, and back to standing. Whew, feel sensation. Oh, your breath rate, your heart rate. And you feel energetically, you might start to feel a bit more awake after that one. What do you feel in your body? With your next inhale, please keep your arms up and overhead. Hold the breath in at the top of the inhale. Three, two, one, exhale, release. Doing that again, inhale, reach up. Holding the breath in at the top. Three, two, one, exhale. One more time, inhale. Holding at the top, three, two, one, and release. 
so part two to so that exercise, I'll have you take your feet about shoulder width apart. And if you're standing forward on your mat, it would be about mat width apart. And we're just gonna be swinging from side to side. And you let your back heel lift so the hips can move with you. Your arms are gently hitting the body. Just a little bit of a, like a kidney tap. <laughs> And you're looking behind you as you move. Now we're gonna do this for about two minutes as well. So find a pace that works for you. Breathing here. In this exercise particularly, the breath can become shallow because we're just constantly twisting the entire time. So it takes a little bit more intention to bring that full breath back in. From side to side. Side to side, unwinding tension the spine, that percussion massage to the sides of your body. Regulation to your nervous system. Check in on your breath. You know, for about another 30 seconds or so, side to side. Three. Two and one, unwind the center, close the eyes so that feels all right, and just feel inward, feel sensations happening in your body. And take a deeper, fuller breath. yourself on the back. All right. Oh, I love that series. It just helps to wake us up, at least for me anyway. <laughs> so when you're ready, I'm going to ask you to step to the top of your mat. We're going to move into a sun salutation. Just doing a few rounds today. So second the feet underneath the hips, bring your palms together at your chest. Feel the shoulders roll down your back and find your breath. Again, aware of the inhale, aware of the exhale, and we'll do our best to move with the breath. Okay, so when you're ready, go ahead and sweep your arms down, back and up. With your exhale, bend both knees, sweep the arms behind you, chair prep. Keep the knees bent as you lift the arms up into chair pose. And stay here for the exhale. Then inhale, straighten the legs, reaching up. And then exhale, hinge at the hips and swan dive, fold forward and down. Good, then press palms to shins, come halfway up. And then exhale, release. And we're just going to use the lunges we did earlier. So let's set the right foot way back, knee to the ground. Sweep the arms forward and up into crescent lunge. Beautiful. Exhale, hands down, stepping back into downward facing dog. Inhale into plank pose, straight line push up. Exhale, bend your elbows towards your waist and bring your chest one inch from the floor. Your knees can be down here if you'd like. Come out of the tops of the feet. Press the arms straight, take the shoulders back, look up, upward facing dog. But exhale, feel a tug behind your navel that pulls you back into downward facing dog. Good. From here, lift the right leg high. Then exhale, step the right foot forward. Back knee to the ground, press a lunge. Good. Exhale, hands down, step the left foot forward, standing forward fold. Palms to shins halfway up here. And Exhale, release. Sweeping the arms off the sides, come all the way up and down. And palms to the heart. Good, let's keep this going. Inhale, sweeping down and up. Exhale, bend the knees, chair prep, chair pose. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, straighten the legs. Exhale, swan dive, fold. 
halfway up in him. Exhale, release up the left foot way back this time. Knee to the ground, crescent lunge. And exhale, hands down, step back into downward facing dog. Good, plank pose. Exhale, one inch from the floor with the chest. Pressing into upward facing dog. Pulling back into downward facing dog. Lift the left leg high and step it through. Knee to the ground, press it much. And exhale, hands down, step forward. Palms to shins halfway up. Exhale, release. Sweeping the arms out to the sides, come all the way up. We'll go right into the next round. Bend the knees, chair prep, chair pose. Lift and fold. Halfway up. And down, step the right foot back. Knee down, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands down, stepping back, downward facing dog. Plank pose again with your inhale. One inch from the floor with your exhale. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Right leg lifts and step it through. Knee to the ground, crescent lunge. And hands down, stepping forward, palms to shins, and exhale down. Sweep the arms up to the side, come all the way up, and palms to the heart. Take a deep breath in, and out. One more time through the slow. With your next inhale, sweep the arms down, back and up. Exhale, chair prep. Chair pose, and this time stay for about three breaths. Feel the hips sink down, feel the heart lift. One more breath. And inhale, straighten the legs or reach up. Exhale, swan dive folding. Palms, shins. Exhale, release up the left foot way back. Knee to the ground, press a lunge. Exhale, hands down, and step back to downward facing dog. Good. Coming into plank pose, stay for three breaths. Hips in line with your shoulders, looking at the ground. Good. Exhale, bring the chest one inch from the floor, stay for three breaths. It's okay if the knees are down. Good. Pressing the arms straight, take the shoulders back, come on to the tops of the feet, three breaths and up dog. And exhale, pull back into downward facing dog, three breaths in downward facing dog. Good, left leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, step it through, help it forward. Knee to the ground, press a lunge. Exhale, hands down, step forward, standing forward fold. Palms to shins here, halfway up. Exhale, fold down. Let's come back into uh, palms to shins. So halfway up again, staying this time. So feel the shoulder blades roll down the back, chest parallel to the ground, looking at the floor. Crown of the head extending to the space in front of you. Breathe. Deep breath in. Exhale, folding down. Sweeping the arms out to the sides and help them all the way up. And palms to the heart. Feeling the sensation again, staying with the experience. I'm taking a deeper breath, I'm gonna ask you to bring your feet just about shoulder width apart, it's a little wider than your hips. And then go ahead and hinge at the hips and fold forward over the legs. Knees are just gently bent here. Release the head. And then bend your knees until your fingertips touch the floor if they don't already. 
With your fingertips on the floor, go ahead and walk your hands off to the left side of your left foot. Release the head when you get there. Now think about straightening your right knee, so lifting the right hip toward the ceiling. Gently walk the hands back to center. Let's go off to the right side of the right foot. When you get there, release the head. And think about straightening the left leg, left hip reaching toward the ceiling. Mm -hmm. And then carefully walk the fingers back to center. One more time, palms to shins, halfway up. And exhale, folding down. And sweeping the arms up to the sides, nice strong back as you lift all the way up. And exhale, release the arms down, close the eyes for a moment, palms facing forward. Feel your breath, feel your body, your energetic state. Some awareness of your mind as well here. Taking a deeper, fuller breath. Slowly allow your eyes to open, bring yourself on back. And that is our class for today. Thank you so much for being here. I look forward to seeing you again soon.